Oh, there you are. Okay, today I will um, share a few ideas about my new green screen setup. And um, I will show you how I'm editing the videos on iMovie. And I also will explain why I've gone to that three meter wide um, cloth instead of that uh, roll down cardboard. Yeah, that <laughs> wasn't really working well. So when the whole, when the whole setup uh, sort of didn't work out, I also decided that I will renovate the office. The way it was, it was just unworkable. It just did not suit my purpose. So now that I can't spend any money on traveling, I decided to uh, spend the money I've saved to renovate the office. So I did the ceiling panels and got the place painted and I got my office completely emptied. And now only what I really need is coming back in. And the rest is going to the tip. So there you go. Okay, so what I will also do, will explain later how to make the green screen really green and then superimpose it on um, other uh, video clips. And uh, yeah, so that should be rather easy. So this is really my starting point with green screen and um, I thought that would be nice sharing these ideas. Okay my friends, see you later. Okay, here is my setup for the um, green screen and um, when, when I go back with the camera where my desk is and have a look through the camera find oh, actually the display of the camera I can see already how the background is lit but um, that can be improved always so when I have the setup to about 80% I use that app called green screener and um, that really gives me the last little bit um, to set the background right I use the rectangular reflectors to light out the um, green screen and um, with that um, green screener it's very easy to do the last little bit to get that uh, background somewhat evenly lit. You don't want to see what you see on this image that is uh, not, not very good. So that can be vastly improved and uh, moving the um, reflectors around fore and back and turning them sideways and up and down and whichever way it takes to get the background somewhat evenly lit then most of the work is done. Green screener shows an image like that the work can begin. That is as good as it gets and we don't need any more than that. The rest can be done in iMovie and I will show now how we get from the original image to a perfect green screen at the end. The first step to a perfect green screen is to select the original talking head file and uh, load that file into iMovie and then put the green background in and overlay that movie file over the background. The next step is to stretch the green back out to the length of the movie file. What I have done in this case, just cut the rest off, just took a little bit at the beginning, just as a sample. And um, yeah, then we cut the, um, the green screen at the end of that movie file. The next step is to now position the talking head where you want it later on in that uh, movie clip. And um, here you can either put it to the left, to the right, to the top, to the bottom, enlarge it, make it smaller. It really depends on where the talking heads should sit. 
I've found that uh, usually the best one it's on the bottom right and uh, making a little bit smaller and the first thing you check when you do that picture and picture that the uh, image actually fits and then you select picture and picture and then you get that little um, window with the blue corners where you can then adjust the size and you move it wherever you want to have it um, displayed later on in your final product. And when that is done, you um, save the file and uh, reload it at a later stage. Now we're reloading that uh, video clip where we have um, put a picture in picture to put it into the right position and then we're loading the green background again and uh, superimposing that video clip on that green background. Now here's a little trick. If you want to have that video saved in 4K it's important that you load that 4K video clip before you do anything else into iMovie because otherwise it will not recognize this as a uh, 4K video and then you can only do it at a 1080. So it's very important to, to do that in the first place. And um, so now that we have um, that video clip on the green background at the right size, what we do now is um, do the function green screen and then we can have um, um, that perfect green screen. What I have done here for good measure I use the touch up tool once and now we have the talking head perfectly positioned onto the green screen and now saving the file and then we're going to the next step that will be it. Oh, I misspelled head. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so um, that is the second part of the um, of the green screen preparation. Okay, see you at the next part. Now that we have uh, created the absolutely perfect green screen, it's time to put the whole thing into something else. So I choose a video clip from the International Space Station, cut it into the right length, and um, then I show you here what happens if you try to do now a picture in picture. You just can't get rid of the green background that way. So that is not a way to do it. So you have to have that um, talking head at the right size before you start putting it into the background. Okay, now it's time to um, use the right function, green screen, and there you have it. The talking head superimposed on the International uh, Space Station. And you can put any video image or picture in there you want and it all works really well. Good, see you later.